Hi everyone, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. Today we've got episode two of Hot Hatch Head to Head and I'm joined today by my buddy Zach. Hello. Zach Garage. Now you guys may remember we did a video quite a few months ago actually when I visited yeah. your car collection which I'm still blown away by. <laughs> still amazing. So if you go check that video out if you haven't already, super fun to make. Uh, but today we have the Golf R, my Golf R versus your Focus RS. Okay, so our Focus RS is nitrous blue. Uh, it's got loads of options on. There was actually quite a funny story behind the, the whole options listing. Uh, the dealership bought it, forgot to list a load of options. So we got a load of options for free. No way. Um, yeah, Legit. so we've got um, nice. race seats, so the Recaro racing bucket seats. We've got the nitrous blue paint and nitrous blue uh, brake calipers. And uh, that's pretty much it, and the wheels. Uh, but I will show you around anyway. Um, it is a lovely colour, I will a, say. It's the best colour, like, generally ever. Looks because cool next camera, to mine. camera, it won't come across, but when yeah, there's definitely. light on it, it sparkles. Oh, is it sparkly paint? Sp properly sparkly it looks paint. flat yeah, in this that, light. I'll, I'll show you. Well, yeah, get the old, uh, I'll, uh, get get the the old, old torch, torch out. Because yeah. it's interesting, because today we've got a very overcast day, which is typical for the UK. Look at that. But, oh, wow. Properly sparkly paint. That's amazing. I love these wheels as well. They're yes. the upgrade wheels, aren't they? Yes, they are, yeah. Um, I don't know if they're lighter or not. They look better, uh, so that's all that oh, matters. Sorry, just observe. Bang upright. Oh, that's... Parked it perfectly. That is satisfying. Um, it also has this, which is really clever by Ford. This here is a ah. door stopper, but if you shut the door, oh, it, it goes, goes in, in automatically. And it's on every single door. And no matter how hard, you can't beat it. I I've tried multiple times, I'm trying to... <laughs> <laughs> What's it like inside? Because I haven't really yeah, experienced one before. Um, so, as you can see, it's filthy. Um, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> racing bucket seats, uh, they're not easy to get in and out of, but oh, we nice, bought the though. car for the track. Yeah. Um, literally, we genuinely don't buy the, didn't buy the car to drive it on the road, it's just for the track, so we didn't want the soft seats. No, um, there's some hefty buckets. The yes, there are nice. some hefty buckets. Um, but the way this thing handles, you sort of want to be kept in fairly tight. Yeah, no, um, definitely. The back seats as well, they're, they're good. Um, also racing sort of bucket-ish. cool. Yeah, it's nice that they've continued that from the front. Yeah, actually. they've continued the theme of the Alcantara and the yeah. Rebel and the leather. Um, but no, it's, it's a wicked car. Brilliant yeah. people shuttle and loads of power as well. Yeah, which definitely. Is, which is very cool. Okay, so those of you who are unfamiliar to how this series works, there are five different rounds in which we compare the two cars. First of all, we have sound, then we have power to weight ratio, 0 to 60, uh, fuel economy, and then the viewer's choice. And of course, the first of those is sound. So this round is split into three different, I suppose you say mini challenges, a startup, some revs, and a flyby. And unlike episode one, I have remembered the decibel reading. So we have some official results. So I think first off, is the start-ups. You got 74. Yeah. I got 78. Oh, okay. Well, we'll see what happens in the rev off. Won't yeah. Well, yeah. This I'm, thing, I'm this thing pops and bangs like like nothing else. So. And it's stock. I didn't put a resonator to late. So. Yeah, you're not. Well, you're, I say you're not a yobbo. Well, you are because you've got I Focus am, RS. I've got a nice blue Focus RS. But. <laughs> That's really cute. Uh, 80, 97 80. I think it was, it was 97. Uh. You know what it was? What? You changed, you were holding the revs and it cracked when you went past the camera. I was like, <laughs> woo, naughty. I want the start up, you won the revs and I won the fly -by. Yeah. So I won that now. What the f***? 
PG channel, my friend. <laughs> okay, so swiftly moving on to round two after that unanimous victory we have power to weight ratio now i think in episode one i actually worked out mine wrong so my uh curb weight is 1483 what was yours in the focus mine is 1569 interesting because we said that yours was going to be lighter because yeah. obviously yours is like a track car yeah basically. yeah so well, yeah if you will but yeah, okay, yeah whatever yeah. uh and my horsepower is 310 standard yours is 350. 350. Okay, so power to weight ratio for me is 209.21 horsepower per ton. Mine's 226.1 horsepower per ton. No, really? Yep. So, oh, you're having a laugh, aren't you? No, no. That's annoying. Yeah. I thought I was on at a winning win, streak. Sir, at least I win something. <laughs> I, mean, I need a reason to actually be in a film with you. I mean, come on. <laughs> Three yep. is 0 to 60, and luckily both our cars have launch control. Yes. So first of all, we're in mine. So actually, I can teach you this. Actually, okay. we have to be in sport. All right, traction off. Sport, uh, ESC sport, and then obviously the typical left foot on there. You're getting ready to yep. time it. So if you yep. give me, count me down. Okay, three, two, one, go. Episode one that we did, yeah, I got to 5.08, and I did spin a bit there. I don't know if you can see. Okay. I think it was short shifting as well. I feel like there's there's a lot of excuses in this video. <laughs> Are we doing best of two? No, just doing a safe by clutch. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. So there we go, 5.28 to be. 5.28, yep. I will, I'll even screenshot that. Cool. There we go. Very official. Righty ho then. We have switched positions. Yes. Like the first time in a Focus RS, actually. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. Yeah. I didn't even realise these things had launch control, to be honest with you. Right so, to so engage launch control, you have to go to into settings. This is a bit tricky. Uh, you have to go in the way. down to information. <laughs> right. Uh, oh, no, wrong one. Even I don't know how to do it. <laughs> down to settings, sorry, and that says driver assist. There we go. And then launch control. Launch control, there we go. So we've got the stopwatch ready. Okay. Turn you down. If you wish. Three, two, one, go. Oh, crikey, that does kick you. 60. No. Yep. Wait, no, no, hang on, what was mine? Uh, five, was it five, two, eight? I think so. What was mine? 5.38. Really? I thought, because I saw the, the 3.8 and I thought, was, was that mine? <laughs> oh, this part's that good. There we go, proof is in the pudding. And that's interesting because mine's DSG and yours is manual. Yeah. That is nuts. So mine is a tenth of a second quicker to 60. And, yeah. And it's got DSG. So that's what's... very interesting. Yeah, there you go. So there we go. So the penultimate round is of course fuel economy. Now bearing in mind we've both done launch control, this is going to be a little bit interesting. But whilst on the subject of launch control, I am very surprised yep. about how, how close that all was. I forgot to mention previously that of course the Focus RS is a manual yep. and it only comes in manual. It only comes in manual, manual. you can't manual. get them in auto. Whereas mine is DSG whereas you can get manual if you want. Um, but there was only a tenth of a second in it, yeah. which is remarkable. Maybe that's driving skill or maybe it's... I see the saying I've got a lack of skill by tenth of no, a second. No, because it's say I've got no, no, more. No, no. But that yeah. was a compliment. No, okay, I'll take it as a compliment. No, but it is, it, I was surprised. I thought it was going to be at least a second slower. Not being mean, because obviously it's manual, and that's yeah. kind of a disadvantage. Yeah, but then it's got more brake horsepower. True, but yeah. it's heavier. No, it is heavier. But, yeah. But anyway, yeah. fuel economy. We're going to have to jump between both cars, have a look at the average uh, consumption, and see which which is better. Ultimately, it's going to be pretty horrendous because we've just done launch control. <laughs> okay, hopping into the Focus RS. Oh, God, it's a lot harder to get into than my car. Start it up. Keyless go. Right, so 
Zach, how do you get this uh, onto the consumption? So once all of the things have gone through, you just have to right, flick so through. Right, so you have to flick through. Uh, so if you go back, that is that right? Uh, yeah, and then go up to trip computer one. Okay, that's it. Uh, and then go up. Oh, uh. oh no, there you go. 19.3 miles per gallon, average fuel. <laughs> that is horrendous. It's awful. No, it's genuinely awful. 19.3. It's genuinely awful. See, when I did the A45 in, in uh, episode one, yeah. I was surprised that it got, I think, 21.5. Oh, no, no, the, the fuel, I, I spend most of the time in the fuel station. That is, you also spend the majority of the time in race mode or track mode, whatever yes, it's called. Yes, yeah. absolutely. 19.3. <laughs> wow. <laughs> right, into mine. Now, this will be interesting to see if it's uh, any different to what we got in the last video. So we shall start it up. And uh, da, da, da. average consumption, 25.1. It's not much better. You know, I'm actually proud I lost that one. Because <laughs> it means I drive my car properly. <laughs> so those of you who watched uh, episode one, I had a average consumption of 28. So that's actually quite interesting how that's uh, gone considerably lower. But either way, another victory for the Gulf. If you want to call it a victory. <laughs> <laughs> So the final round is of course viewer's choice. So uh, as always, uh, I put a poll on my Instagram just before we started recording saying, would you rather have the Focus RS or the Golf R? And I haven't looked at it at all until now. So what do you all think? Ooh. Oh, actually that was a bit closer than I thought. That was closer yeah. than I expected. So you got 64 votes and I got 82 votes. Interesting. So I am victorious. Yes, you are. <laughs> well done. I've won something. But actually, I, I'm actually quite intrigued about how close that was because there was a lot of love for the Focus RS. I love yep. it. But it's interesting to see. Maybe it's because they're it, my followers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I, I think, uh, yeah. You've yeah. got a lot of followers on Instagram. So. Not biased at all. Like, no, <laughs> um, of course not. But anyway, that is it for today's video. Uh, super fun video to make, so thank you no, very really much enjoyable. for coming on. No, thank you very much. Zach is, of course, going to be making a video for his channel. Uh, I think some sort of similar comparison type thing, Something. so make sure you go check that out. I'll win that one. Yeah, because you'll make it. <laughs> you'll make yourself win. Do you see what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures still to come.